down here so you can actually see me and it's about like 9 30 maybe even like 10 p.m at night and i never record videos at this time of night obviously for obvious reasons but i went and bought myself some scissors to cut my hair with because i moved um to germany like three months ago and honestly like i have not had my hair cut in maybe like four months or something and it is so thick like it is crazy, crazy thick. And it actually is quite long as well. As you can see, it's just an absolute crazy amount of hair. And it's still kind of blonde at the ends from whenever I like dip dyed it myself. But um, because it's wavy all the time, it doesn't really matter that it's uneven, which is another reason why it doesn't really matter if I cut it myself. Um, and these are actually thinning scissors, which I bought from DM, as I said. This is, the brand here you can see and first of all I went into like a hairdressing shop and I realized that the scissors were like 50 euro actually or more and I got these ones for like 8 euro I think it was like 7 euro something and they're actually pretty good like this is what they look like here so when you open them up they have the little ridges here which is what helps thin your hair instead of just cutting it and then it has these nice little like padded to put your fingers into so yeah they weren't very expensive and the reason for why I'm cutting my hair myself is because one I don't really want to go into one of the cheap um, hairdressing places here where they're not gonna be able to speak English because all I want is my hair thinned I'm trying to grow it out long so I do not want any mishaps and honestly I'd rather I messed it up than someone else to mess it up because they can't understand me or just because even when a hairdresser can understand you a lot of the time they go and cut like a load off the length like you'll go in and say I don't want anything off or I just want to trim and then they'll come out and like this much of it will be gone so um, I was like I'll just do it myself and I'm just gonna thin it because I feel like I can't really mess that up as easily um, and this is budget lifestyle like I'm gonna have these scissors for a long time hopefully they actually look pretty good quality so let's cut some hair <laughs> okay so what I have seen that you're supposed to do, I watched one YouTube tutorial by Kristen Leo, Kristen Leo, um, is to just separate the hair. So I'm gonna do the underneath parts because if I mess up the underneath parts, then it's totally cool. Uh, okay, I have no idea what, okay, maybe I should not cut, <laughs> this is scary. Okay, I'll take a tiny piece. Um, a bit without the most blonde in it. Okay, we're gonna take this piece. We'll just cut it here, sure. Ow. Oh, see? It does not cut out loads of hair. It just cuts out little pieces at a time. What it actually does is, if you look very closely, we can do it on a tiny piece. If you look very closely, um, then you will see that it just like cuts the middle part of the hair to be shorter. So um, you can see there the ends, which is where I've cut it, but whenever you just look at the hair overall, it'll just look like, you know, the hair is thinner and you'll not be able to see that there's bits of different length. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, Jamie has come in, he's gonna do a little snip. Right, you can take that part. Take it off of me, you're the hairdresser. Part. Yeah, and just cut. Yeah, just cut straight across the middle. <laughs> You're so nervous. It's like you think the whole thing is gonna come off. I'm just worried about. I don't want to accidentally <laughs> do you a bald. <laughs> do me a bald. Oh, thanks for the boob crap. <laughs> You're not gonna do me a bald. My skin is terrible because I, I wore foundation yesterday for the first time in ages, and yeah, it's about oh, there we go. That's easy. There we go. You know, lots of people upload these videos on YouTube, and they're so clickbaity, and they're like, oh, I cut my hair myself and they don't actually do it, but literally, holy crap, like the amount of hair that you just took out of my head is crazy. Look at this. Hey, I'm just doing one top. Next video is gonna be Jamie's. Is it you cutting my hair or me cutting my hair? Mwah. So I've just done one side and I wanted to show you guys the difference. So 
This is the side that has just been thinned. It feels so much softer and lighter. And this is the side that has not been thinned yet and it's like double the amount of hair. So you can see the difference there already. So now to do this side. And it's done. It is a lot thinner in my opinion. I'm not sure if you can see. It's still very fuzzy because I brushed it out so much. But there is so much less hair. It's awesome. Look, I will show you guys something. Look at how much hair is in the sink. Jamie said that he can make a rope out of it. I mean, like, literally, there is so much hair. It is mental. And it's absolutely everywhere, which is so disgusting. But anyway, the purpose of showing you this was to show you that, you know, you can cut your hair on a budget. This was free to do apart from the cost of the scissors. And I've saved myself some money. I've saved myself time. And it's just fun to experiment and you don't have to be so serious with your opinion all of the time. I just wanted to get some of the extra weight out of my hair. I don't have to pay a fortune for that or stress about it or anything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to bed now because it's late and that's why I look so gross. <laughs> Bye.